Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is living life on purpose. Do you know why God allowed you to wake up this morning? Chances are God had a specific purpose and goal in mind for you today. Only God can make his will known to man, but you have to be in tune to God's word to obey his will. You should try to find God's purpose for your life in his eyes. Regardless of your disappointments, you need to keep your faith and your eyes on the Lord. You may be quite capable of taking care of problems on your own. The problem is the actions that you take are fleeting and are temporary. Only God can make everlasting change in your life. Don't take too much stock in your own understanding of how things should be. Proverbs 3 and 7 reads, Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Always be willing to listen to what God is telling you. You gain much favor by abiding in God's will and seeking His ways. Proverbs 8, 34-35 reads, Joyful of those who listen to me, watching for me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside my home. For whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. Be wise to know that you need to treat all God's creation with respect. Don't always think you're better than someone else or that, that you are above them. You should remain humble with your blessings. Don't always be happy in someone else's dis dis demise when you see that they're falling down and just don't take glory in their failures. Never be a part of mistreating another person, whether uh, alone or in a group of people. Proverbs 12 and 2 reads, The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who plan weak wickedness. Take heed and wise counsel provided by those persons older than you or those persons who have more experience in a certain area. You never know where wisdom will come from and you never know to whom God will speak. That could even come from someone younger than you to include kids. God can speak to you through the less unlikely of people. Proverbs 13, 13 through 14 reads, People who despise advice are asking for trouble. Those who respect a command will succeed. The instructions of the wise is like a life-given fountain. Those who accept it avoid the snares of death. No matter where you are in life or what you are doing, always seek wise counsel. But beware of some of the people that look like they're important or act like they have all the answers to things. They may not, or some of them may mislead you. Watch what you say to others and what you say about others. You never know who's who you're harming or what kind of rumors you may be starting, especially if what you're saying is not true. I think I gave a little bit of good advice to my son some years ago when I told him, watch out for sweet looking women with bitter souls. Some things aren't always what they appear to be. You have to take a heed into that advice in anything that you're doing. I also told my son as a father, there's a lot of things I can do for him. But some things in life, like choosing a wife, you need to do through thoughtful prayer and just uh, asking God to seek help. That's one thing I can't choose for you. But you need to seek wise counsel and make sure that you're doing the right thing and with the right person. Proverbs 18, 20 to 22 reads, Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The, con the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. Some people like to lie to get what they want. They lie when they're trying to climb the corporate ladder. You shouldn't have to lie to get a blessing from the Lord. That's not the way things should go. Wouldn't it be a sad day when you finally get that thing you always wanted or get that promotion on your job, but there's no one around you that could give you great cheer for you achieving those goals? 
Proverbs 22 and 1 reads, Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver and gold. Stepping out in faith is a scary thing. You're stepping into the unknown and you don't know what to do. But you should never be afraid to do what the Lord tells you to do, even though you don't always um, know the outcome. Sometimes the outcome may not be what you think it is, but it just may be a test that God is seeing if you're going to do what he tells you to do, no matter how it looks or uh, what other people say. So it can be scary, but be willing to do so. You'll be blessed with it. There's not always an instant reward when we do what God tells us to do. There's nothing wrong with having a little skepticism. Even Mary was skeptical when the Spirit told her about she was going to be the mother of Jesus. So she was afraid at first. Luke 1 and 30 reads, Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. No matter what level you are in life, never think you possess all the knowledge and wisdom that you need. Even Jesus had to grow in his wisdom. Luke 2 and 52 reads, Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and all the people. I suggest that you continue to seek wisdom as you live your life. There's no such thing as having too much wisdom. Give God the glory for all the good things in your life, even when things are bad, because sometimes the bad things or the things that help you grow become the person that you are. The bad things can even help you grow your faith. Acts 2 and 47 reads, All the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people, and each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. So again, as I said before, I encourage you to seek God's will in your life, and then you can, seek, have, you can get fulfillment in doing God's will. God knows what he wants for you, but you have to be in tune with him to go for the things. Sometimes your own acts or inaction will cause you to delay your blessings. So find God's purpose for your life, live it fully and abundantly. And as always, be blessed.